It's Friday afternoon and I just got back to my dorm from having lunch with a friend, but I wanted to show you guys um, a couple of things. I recently got my brother's old MacBook for my graduation present um, and I've been wanting a MacBook for a long time, but I could never afford it, so um, he gave it to me as a gift um, and I love it. I am officially used to it now. For the MacBook, I ordered a case and I um, got a few stickers from redbubble.com. So I picked the case up a few days ago from the post office on campus um, and it came with a light pink keyboard sleeve, which I don't know if I like this or not yet. It kind of feels like there's bubble wrap or something on the keyboard. But yes, I love it. Um, it's, it's really nice. I like it a lot. And I also want to show you what I got from Redbubble. Gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I guess it comes with a Redbubble sticker, which is pretty cool. Um, and then these are the ones that I ordered. Wow, they're really small. Smaller than I thought. Okay, so I love the office, so I had to get at least a couple of them um, to put on my laptop piece. So this is one of my favorite scenes, um, or both of these are a couple of my favorite scenes from The Office. And then I had to pay tribute to Gilmore Girls by getting this Luke's Diner coffee mug sticker. Um, so that's another one of my favorite shows. And then I just got this sticker that says Virginia on it. Um, we have such pretty mountains here, so I had to get that. I also got a Chick-fil-A sticker, because <laughs> I love Chick-fil-A. And then this um, is from One True Hill, because that's another one of my favorite shows. Um, next, I got a cross, which I don't know if you can see what it says, but it says, it says free. It's not zooming in. Okay. Um, and then I also got this. It says, I found my life when I laid it down, which I loved that. Got another office sticker. And then a YouTube sticker. Oh no! They gave me two YouTube stickers. Oh shoot! Did I accidentally order two? Oh man! I'll have to look at that because I might have overpaid. Dang it! Okay. <laughs> um, and then I got one with little flowers on it. But man, I cannot believe! Wow. Fail. <laughs> So, update on my life, I haven't really been doing a lot of exciting stuff. <laughs> um, just been going to my one residential class and then my internship. Tomorrow, um, our school does this annual um, Serve Lynchburg. It's called Serve Lynchburg to where we have like a bunch of students signing up as volunteers for like different places all over the community of Lynchburg and we just go out and serve and help just the community in general. Um, and so I'll be doing that with a few of my friends um, at a nursing home, which is so exciting because I've always wanted to do that. Yesterday marked one month until I graduate, so I've kind of been getting ready for that. Um, a couple weeks ago, I got my cap and gown. It's been like slow, like random waves that hit me every once in a while. And I realized that like I'll be graduating soon. Um, it's just so crazy. I feel like I don't know, I've been in school for a total of six years because I um, changed my major halfway through and I had to do more schooling, but that's not the point. Um, but anyways, I, I just, to finally be able to come to like the end point of it, I just thought I'd never get here, so it's just kind of like surreal. Um, but yeah, I'm. it's gonna be very bittersweet. I might cry at my graduation, but um, yeah, I'm excited for uh, what God has planned for me after graduation. Don't know what that's gonna look like, but we'll see. So we are officially at Smoothie King, getting some smoothies because we just got done playing laser tag, which I did not vlog, forgot to vlog that. But yeah, now we're playing H2, so. Yeah. I'll some money. Did you lose, Taylor? I did. Um, I didn't know what the internet term, I-5-5, what language it was for. I said Korean but it was Thai, so. Taylor, what did you get? Um, so I got a banana berry treat um, on Fridays. It's only $5 to get a 32 ounce. So it's a really good deal. Um, it is um, strawberries, bananas, 
raspberry puree and protein. So I'm doing great. Mm. I got a Caribbean way. Mm. Said it right that time. And it has strawberries, bananas, papaya juice blend, and raw cane sugar. Good morning. So I'm with Liz, Tessa, and Sierra, and we are off to DC. DC! <laughs> So we just ate lunch, and now we are walking, trying to find the We're Bible walking. Museum. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the again. We've been really wanting to go to the Bible Museum since it first opened, so that's where we're headed. Where you go and you learn about the Bible, the Bible and God. This is the most shared verse, first most shared verse in the world. What did you guys think of the Bible Museum? It was really, it was really good. Fantastic. Super good. It's amazing. Yeah. It was. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, you still. <laughs> oh, it was done. Sorry. That was the beginning of the rating. <laughs> <laughs> DC has ended, but we had such a great time. There's a Buster Boston over there that I want to get on, but it's fine. <laughs> Back to Lynchburg. No, we had a perfect day. Literally nothing went wrong. Everything worked out great, and we have returned to our nice Liberty buses. Yes. God is good. <laughs> so it is Thursday afternoon, and I'm at the academic building right now, um, waiting to pick up Taylor, but funny story, she texted me and asked me if I could pick her up at 3.30, but for some reason, I thought she said three. And so, yeah, I came here like 30 minutes early, so now I'm just sitting in my hot car. It's friggin' hot outside. Anyways, yeah, I'm picking her up, and then we're just going to go to Target to get a couple things, and then later on tonight, we're going to this place called Jump at a trampoline park. Hi, honey, how was school? It was good. <laughs> Learned about elderly people. They don't have sunflower seeds. I'm gonna grow. <gasps> yeah. Look at this. Only 139. So I just got back from um, having my graduation pictures taken, and then tonight. Um, so my birthday is like in a week, and um, not everyone's gonna be here because um, it's like after finals, and that's when everyone leaves to go home. So um, my friends have kind of taken it taking it upon themselves to throw me a surprise not a party but it's more like they're planning out a night um for me to like celebrate i guess okay we're on our way to somewhere are you the excited crew. i am i'm kind of nervous because i don't know what to expect from you guys what do you think? i trust taylor more than i trust tessa and k but hey 
Yeah, that makes sense. I would cast Taylor more. Yeah. But it's storming pretty bad. Hi, Sarah's vlog. It's Tessa, Sarah, Kay, and Taylor. Now, it is Sarah, Sarah's birthday in a few days. No, it's like a week. It's like a week. But she's graduating, and so we, we um, are doing like a birthday graduation night to celebrate her. And. So we were gonna surprise her. We didn't tell her what we're doing. So we went out to eat. Um, I I don't like filming myself in public. <laughs> we went out to eat, and um, we pulled into Waffle House, and we made her think that we were going. We were taking her to Waffle House for her birthday. But she had such a good attitude, and she was so happy about it. She didn't say anything negative. We had to run through the rain. We actually, we made her run through all the way through the rain, even though we didn't have to, because we could have parked at the real place. Yeah, they made me walk in the rain. She wouldn't run, she walked. Yeah, my feet would have slipped in these shoes. But she had such a good attitude, now we're here. And she's happy. <laughs> she's just happy to be with us. And Kay also gave her the privilege of holding the buzzer to be able to feel when it vibrates. If that's not dedication and sacrifice, I don't know what is. Okay, what do you have to say? I'm only here for the food. <laughs> <laughs> we'll update you more on the rest of what we're doing for the night. I, can, I just realized I was never looking at the camera. I was always looking at myself. I'm selfish. Vanity. Vanity of vanities. We're on our next adventure. Okay, we're on the next adventure for birthday. Um, we're taking her to another surprise location, but she can't see. <laughs> so we've <laughs> created this oh, makeshift <laughs> glasses, so she can't see anything. She almost ran into the door a couple times, but it's fine. We handled it. Um, we surprised her with, is it on you guys? Mm -hmm. Friends being here. And there she is. I was so surprised. Like, I had no idea. Good job. Yay. I'm reading them. Staying kids. Staying <laughs> kids. Staying school kids. Don't do drugs. Okay. So this is the final <laughs> step Wait, of the Sarah. surprise. <laughs> Um, this is the final step. Um, Sarah has no idea where we are. We went in a bunch of circles. She thinks she knows. I already know. <laughs> where are you? <laughs> you look I mean, lame. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, Did you know we were going to do this? <laughs> I got an open one. Okay. So I just got done reading my Bible and just my quiet time for the day. I actually look forward to these days. Um, you know when you have like thoughts of like a good day and just like you know how people just like go to your happy place well I feel like this is my happy place because um I don't know I don't have as many classes now so I have a lot of free time on my hands to where I can kind of um, come back to my dorm um, and I love to um, open my blinds up and to like really good bright weather um, so like the light's spilling into the room and I can just like be alone with my thoughts and like scripture and um, I don't know, I just, there's something about it. I just love it. But yeah, I wanted to get on here and kind of talk to you guys about um, what I've been thinking of doing for my vlogs now. And what I want to do is kind of incorporate the scripture or just like some daily like Jesus time um, at least in every single vlog um, just because you know I started off doing YouTube wanting to um, use it for God's glory um, use it for my purpose as, as being a Christian and furthering God's kingdom and just being like an encouragement to others through scripture and through prayer and um, 
anything having to do with my relationship with God, but I haven't been doing that um, as much as I want to, and I think that I'm going to start doing this now. So I read in Psalm chapters 8 and 9, and what I thought I would talk about is um, just God's presence. Um, lately, I've heard from just different people, and I've struggled with this as well from time to time. And I think it's something all Christians will struggle with is um, not the lack of God's presence, but the feeling of it. Um, and I've um, heard from just certain friends who are struggling with it recently um, how they have not felt the Lord's presence in their lives. You kind of see all throughout the book of Psalm just... Um, <clears throat> how David struggles with it um and he kind of just goes back and forth throughout different chapters from just experiencing God's presence so fully to just asking him straight up just where are you God and um you know just talking about like how much he struggles and then another thing that I noticed um with um the psalms that David writes just um how honest he is with God and how upfront he is with what he's struggling with I think that a lot of times that we as Christians don't really um we kind of just see the problem but we don't take it to the Lord like we should um especially when you know you kind of notice like oh I haven't been experiencing the Lord um so, you know, you just ask yourself, like, God, where are you? Like, and you get frustrated at times. But I think, first and foremost, you need to kind of just analyze where you're at. Like, have you been in the Word? Have you been reading your Bible? Um, have you been integrating God's truth through His Word into your life? And then secondly, have you actually been taking those struggles to the Lord. I don't know about you guys, but I've um I've been learning this recently. Like I kind of just if I have certain thoughts or certain frustrations or blatantly just um just struggles on you know where the Lord is and like why isn't he answering answering my questions and like just stuff like that. Like <sighs> Or just my feelings in general, like I feel burdened or I feel frustrated with you, God, because I, you're not answering me when I'm calling out to you. Um, I don't take those to the Lord. I don't tell him that. Um, and so that's what I've been learning. Like the Lord just, the Lord hears you and, and would rather hear your complaints or your your burdens and your frustrations rather than nothing at all. So I had scheduled a FaceTime call with my friend Mary Lou and I wasn't able to finish discussing um, what I was talking about yesterday. But um, yeah, I just, like everything I said was basically the whole premise of what I was trying to get at and um, I just wanted to give you guys some encouragement through scriptures and just kind of let you guys know or just talk to you guys about what the Lord has been sharing with me and what I've been noticing the past couple weeks through conversations with friends and um, just through just reading my Bible and prayer and um, yeah if you guys have any more questions about that feel free to comment down below and I will be happy to, to discuss it with you guys.